Hello, good morning to all of you. Today, under the braces of NPTEL IIT Madras, we are introducing you a new course by name Health, Safety and Environmental Management in Petroleum and Offshore Engineering. This course is briefly called as HSE. This course is gaining momentum in the recent future. There are reasons for this. As we all know, financial audit is mandatory for every petroleum company. Similarly, HSC audit has become mandatory under the current legislation of many countries. This course is vital in the research point of view as well as for practicing engineers in petroleum industry. This course will be described and explained by myself. I am Dr. Srinivasan Chandrasekhar and my colleague Professor Subrato Kumar Bhattacharya who is presently heading the department of ocean engineering IIT Madras. For any queries you have in this course, you are most welcome to write an email to me under the address given here drsekaran at iitm.ac.in. The subject matter embodied in this course has some classified information. My humble request to all listeners is that this can be used for academic purpose, but kindly do not circulate or reproduce this without the permission of the author. Okay? Let us now see what HSE means. The course objectives are slated like this to provide an overview of safety and environmental issues in offshore and petroleum industries to provide detailed understanding of methods for resolving key issues in petroleum production and processing to identify and assess hazards in any stage of operation to quantify and manage risks and hazards. This course has of course no prerequisite except that I quote from Jack Nicholas, American golfer that resolve never to quit, never to give up no matter what the situation is. How do we plan for this course? The course plan will be covered basically in four modules. All modules shall be followed in the same sequence to understand the course. On the other hand, understand the module first, do the tutorials, then get to module 2 and so on. Each module is designed with a few tutorial sheets. One should sincerely complete them before attempting to read the successive module. Additional reading material are suggested at the end of each module. One should read this resource material to achieve a complete understanding of the course. What do we see in module 1? Module 1 is expected to be completed in 10 lectures. We talk about introduction to safety, health and environmental management, basic terms and their definitions in HSE, importance of safety in petroleum and offshore industry, safety assurance and assessment, safety in design and operation, organizing for safety, hazard classification and assessment, hazard evaluation and hazard control. These will be covered in module 1. Module 2 followed by 1 will again be a capsule of 10 lectures. These lectures will cover environmental issues and management, atmospheric pollution, flaring and figurative release modeling, water pollution, we discuss drilling waste, oil spills, oil sludge, 
drilling solid waste and production waste, environmental monitoring, environmental impact and decommissioning and of course, environmental management. These topics will be covered in module 2 followed by which we will have 15 lectures on module 3, which will talk about accidents modeling, release modeling, fire and explosion modeling, toxic release and dispersion modeling, accident investigation and reporting, concepts of HAZOP and PHA, risk assessment and management, risk picture, its definition and characteristics, risk acceptance criteria, quantified risk assessment, hazard assessment, fatality risk assessment, marine systems risk modeling and risk management. Followed by which we have the last module that will be covered in 5 lectures, which will have safety measures in design and process operation like inerting, explosion, fire prevention and sprinkler system design, principles and methods applicable for offshore and petroleum industry and interestingly we will discuss some in important case studies from offshore and petroleum industry. Dear friends, HSC course is designed to cover in 4 modules as explained before. Let us ask a question to follow further, what is HSC? A quick review to understand its necessity. There are some black spots in oil and glass exploration. This makes us to understand why HSC is important. For example, black spot number 1 in oil and gas exploration happened in 3 Mile Island, Middleton, Pennsylvania on March 28, 1979. The failure was mainly due to the pilot operated relief wall, which caused the explosion on the cooling tower. This is a sad picture after the disaster has occurred. Black spot number 2 unfortunately happened in India. This is famously known as Bhopal disaster. It happened on 2nd of December 1984. Mainly it was due to the leakage of methyl isocyanate gas. It is an exothermic reaction responsible for this disaster. The temperature was increased to 200 degrees Celsius. The pressure was raised and as a result of which the gas leaked. My dear friends, Look at this photograph on your right side. A lady is feeding a child, but she is closing her nose with one of her hands. This is unfortunate and not expected for any human being, be an Indian, be an American or a foreigner. Black spot number 3. Interestingly, it is identified as a space shuttle challenge disaster. This happened on January 28, 1986, though this case is not closely related to offshore and petroleum industry, but anyway this is identified as one of the interesting black spot for safety. The failure actually occurred because of an o-ring seal failed and the release of pressurized hot gas. My dear friends, look at the photograph of a 7 crew member who have been traveling in the space shuttle the space shuttle got disintegrated and none of them are alive now. Black spot number 4, Chernobyl disaster Soviet Union occurred on 1986, 26th April in the early morning. It is actually a failure or a partial failure of a nuclear power plant in Ukraine. The failure actually occurred because of the extreme power output spike happened and this resulted in the rupture of one of the reactor vessels. Black spot number 5, all of us know it is a recent disaster which has happened as a milestone in offshore and petroleum industry. This is the famous BP oil disaster happened in Gulf of Mexico on 20th April 2010. 
this is identified as one of the fateful day in the oil industry. The blow out preventer failed despite all critical efforts taken to save the platform as well as the human lives in the disaster. What do these events teach us? They very clearly tell us there exist limitation of knowledge to predict such events. The past experience what we have is not sufficient to estimate them. Then the question asked is why do these events happen? Before we answer why do they happen, let us understand some important points behind this in safety point of view. These events are very rare, but the impact created by these events is severe. If so, then how one can guarantee the human and process safety under such conditions? A very interesting question which leads an initiative to follow a course called HSC. There are some interesting references which are listed to you. I humbly request all the readers to go through them for understanding and parallel learning as the course proceeds further. Some of the references are available in the net as a free loading material. Some of the references are also quoted as some of my papers presented in the recent international conference held in IIT Madras. If you want to have an access of these papers, kindly write to me, they can pass on these copies of papers to you for additional reading. We recently gave the keynote invited lectures in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in an international HSC meet held in December 2010. If you wish to have some of the lecture notes of this kind for your understanding, we can pass on that to you. My dear friends, HSC comes in cans. I can do it, you can do it and we can do it. Can we prevent such disasters? If not, can we predict them? These are some of the case studies which we just presented very briefly to you for your interesting knowledge. To have sympathy on humankind, kindly remember as an Indian the Bhopal gas tragedy. Now we understand the necessity for learning a course on HSC. You are prepared to know why you want to learn a course on HSE. Now I will take you to the next lecture which is lecture number 1 on the first module. Thank you.